Honeybees, we know, are crucial to the food supply and they pollinate more than 100 of the crops we eat. But they are dying in near record numbers. A survey taken every year revealed beekeepers lost nearly half of the colonies that they manage. It's the second highest death rate on record. It's caused by a combination of parasites, pesticides, starvation, and climate change. Photojournalist John Mason visited a woman who relies on bees for her business. I was a property manager for close to 20 years. Just discovered bees and I love it. So our lip balms that we make and then we make soap. Carmen Whelan knows how important bees are. Lip balms have pollen, really good for sealing your lips. Hyaluronic acid, a lot of the top humectants. It has 65% of this monofloral in it. Carmen has been a beekeeper for 15 years and says it's more than just a hobby. When you're around the hive, they're not coming at you. They don't care. I'm just sitting outside. They're ignoring me because they're busy. And she's spreading the word about how bees can help us all. That's about it. It calms the bees down. One worker bee will make close to about a quarter teaspoon of honey in her lifetime. Oh, this is beautiful. So when you're pulling gallons from a hive, that's thousands of bees, but it takes close to about 10,000 visits to flowers to make one gallon of honey. Come on, girls. And Carmen's message for you. If you can get away with not using pesticides, that would be your best choice. Pesticides, neonicotinoids, they're bad for us, they're bad for the pollinators. In the bee world, you either make honey or you make bees, you can't do both. And anything that goes into the ground, it gets into the plant, so the plant's poisoned for life. That's what's hurting our native pollinators and the honeybees. And in turn, we're eating the food, you know, that's you know, pollinated from this stuff that's been sprayed. And we're getting sick as well. Some bees are more aggressive than others. It's just in their genes, you know, just like some people are more aggressive than others. Bees pollinate a third of the world's crops. If the bees start to die out, those crops are gonna die out, animals are gonna die out, and then we'll probably soon follow. John Mason, covering Colorado first. Now, beekeepers are staying afloat by using expensive measures to create new colonies. So despite those massive die-offs, the number of honeybee colonies actually remains relatively stable.